Every year when I do a science fair, so many kids love to do volcanoes. And the volcano experiment generally uses baking soda and vinegar, and it kind of really isn't how volcanoes really, really work. But if we took the same idea of using baking soda and vinegar, and we took a bottle and we used the bottle, I could teach you a really cool concept called chemical reactions. You see, sometimes when you mix a chemical and a chemical together, nothing happens. A rock and water, nothing happens. But sometimes, if you mix two chemicals together, something new is made that was never there before. And the end result is something completely new that makes you say, wait a second, how did that happen? Well, in this experiment, what I'm gonna do is fill up this bottle about a third of the way with vinegar. The vinegar doesn't matter if it's clear, it doesn't matter if it's red, but you do need just about a third of the cup. Step two, my balloon. You see, I'm gonna take this funnel, and I'm gonna take some baking soda. I'm gonna drop some baking soda in the funnel, which will then find its way into the balloon. Add just enough baking soda until the balloon is filled about halfway with baking soda. And when that's done, I created a little balloon packet. Now think about it. I don't want the reaction to start until I'm ready because once the baking soda touches the vinegar, the chemical reaction is instant. Carbon dioxide is made. And all of a sudden, think about it. If you've, a balloon's filled with carbon dioxide. The more air you put into the balloon, the more carbon dioxide, what happens to the balloon? It gets bigger. Well now, if I drop the baking soda into the vinegar and carbon dioxide's being made, but it's closed, what will happen to the balloon? Make a prediction, and when you're done, try it. Now I'm gonna take my baking soda balloon and carefully place it on the top of this bottle without ripping the balloon. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna take the nozzle, and you're gonna wrap it around the opening of the bottle. And now, what I love about this is I can control the reaction. I'm gonna tilt up the balloon and the baking soda, because of gravity, is gonna just fall out. And watch what happens when the vinegar and the baking soda meet one another. Whoa, okay. Guys, do you see what's happening? Carbon dioxide is being made. It can't find the way out. And what's happening to the balloon? Gas is being made. The balloon is filling up. Isn't this, think about this. I just made carbon dioxide. And how awesome is it when you learn about chemical reactions? I took a little bit of a shower, but not too bad.